Okay, welcome to race 35, the penultimate of the week. So it's all week, it's the all week open. It's a national hunt over two miles. So number one is Candy Apple Grey. Two is Maidstone Maid. Three, Samoa Sabbath. Four, Paddington. Five, Candy Dude. Six, Gravy Train. Seven, No Discussion. Eight, Loud Queen. Nine, Worthy Deep. And ten is Young Falcon. So ten of them. A couple of uh, trainers dropping down into hunters here. Kevin Meenahan and uh, Molly at Surfer. So good luck to those. As we wait to see who wants to take this along. And it doesn't look like anybody. Only got two miles to go, guys. On the outside here, uh, maybe Candid Dude. No, it looks like Paddington's going to take them into the first. They'll have 12 to jump. Takes it well, as does the remainder. So it's Paddington being forced to lead. From Maidstone made in second. Candy Apple Grey the Grey. They come into the second and everybody's over that. So Loud Queen coming alongside. Paddington's just got a length advantage now. And the Grey Candy Apple Grey in third. The one against the fence here is Maidstone Maid. And we've got Worthy Deep. They go into the third. Everybody's over that. A little slow jumps. Ones towards the rear at the moment are Young Falcon, Samoa, Sabbath and Candid Dude. So Paddington happy to bowl along in the middle of the course. In a little bit over towards the rails now. No, nope, he's staying out there. Obviously, maybe the ground's a little bit better. So it's Paddington. Leads by about three to four to Maidstone made against the fence. And we've got Worthy Deep and Candy Apple Grey. Followed through by no discussion. Young Falcon. Your in silks are loud. Queen and Gravy Train out wide. Wider still is Samoa Sabbath. And Candid Dude even wider. So they take the fourth. Everybody's over that. Some slow jumps there from Maidstone made in particular. There's allowed Worthy Deep and no discussion to, to lead the chasing pack. But Paddington leads them into the fifth. Gets over that well. As does the rest. Let's do a few light enjoying to ride in the centre of the course here. Nobody really wants to be over by the rails. That's Paddington. His lead just getting shortened a little bit now by Worthy Deep as they go to the six. And they're halfway through the fences. One that didn't take that well was Candid Dude. In the light blue silks out well, nearest to us. They take this left turn here. That's a tight turn there. And the one that did well was Maidstone Maid that hung onto the fence like a bit of sticky black plastic. Oh, and he's gone. Oh, and another one's gone. So Loud Queen and Maidstone Maid all go at, all go at the seventh. Bad luck there. I was got a little bit too close to the fence. So it's Paddington that leads us with four. And they go into the eighth, the ditch. They're over it. And still Paddington leads from Gravy Training second. Young Falcon is third. Candy Dude four. So our Sabbath has run on well. And now in fifth. And we've got Candy Apple Grey, Worthy Deep and no discussion. Another left turn here. And it's Paddington that still leads, but being pressured a little bit by Gravy Train now. Jockey gets the whip out on Paddington, starts to pull away again. We've only got just over four furlongs to go. They go over the ninth. We're going to have three left to jump, and it's Paddington and Gravy Train. These two are close in first place. Another left turn again, and it's Paddington and Gravy Train from Candy Apple Great running on well. Here comes Samoa Sabbath as well. Candy Dude pushing along. Young Falcon's got a bit of work to do, and we're losing Worthy Deep and no discussion. They won't have a chance from there. So two and a half furlongs out. It's still Paddington. Leads them into the tent. Gets over it well from Gravy Train. But here comes Samoa Sabbath and Candy Apple Grey. It's these four. Candy Dude needs to get some wings to make it from there. They're going to the 11th, the penultimate. They're all over it together, and now they're in a line. So Samoa Sabbath, Paddington, Gravy Train and Candy Apple Grey. One, two, three and four. We've only got less than a furlong to go and it's Samoa Sabbath that starts to pull away from Candy Apple Grey. But a better jump by Paddington there. Jumps himself into a better position. But Samoa Sabbath, Candy Apple Grey, Samoa Sabbath, Candy Apple Grey, Samoa Sabbath, Candy Apple Grey. Very short run in there from the last. These hunter courses always catch me out. Not too sure who's got that, but I think it might be Samoa Sabbath on the outside. Says it is from Candy Apple Grand second, Paddington in third. Let's just wait for the final card. Can only be a short head if anything, or even a nose. It's a short head win for Samoa Sabbath for Molly at Surfer dropping down to a hunter and getting a win. Second was Candy Apple Grey for Martin Lindham. Third, Paddington for Stu Grey. Fourth was Gravy Train for Kevin Meenahan.